Hello students, welcome in chapter 9, sequence and series. Students, today I continue our parts of arithmetic progressions. Yes, arithmetic progressions continue our 9.2 exercise. Question is there, find the sum of odd integers from 1 to 2001. Yes, here given from, it means 1 counted, 2001 also counted and between all numbers which is odd counted. If you given here between words, so 1 not counted and 2001 also not counted. Yes, students, here given from, that's why I applying 2 from 1 odd number itself, 2001 also itself odd number and between all numbers. So, here odd integer, there are 1 sure. Next, 3, 5, 7, and till last, 2, 0, 0, 1. Now, I want to, that is summation. But before summation, we find out that how many numbers. So, I go to A1, difference, T2 minus T1, 3 minus 1, which is 2. And N is how much? Yes, that's the unknown. Yes. How many total numbers not understand that? Then I find out N. N. What is the TN? Last term 2001, which is A plus N minus 1D. Now put it A and D. And define N. A I have 1, N minus 1, but D it is 2. And here 2001 same. Now this one I carry forward right side. So, n minus 1 into 2, here 2001 minus 1 itself 2000. Yes. Now, finally, you can getting n minus 1 is equal to 2000 by 2. That cancel. So, what's the n? It is 1000 plus 1. It means 1001. 3 zeros, here 1. 1001. It means the between 1 to 2001, not between, sorry, from 1 to 2001, how many odd numbers? 1001. Now I want to summation. Yes, so I get the here summations. Ascend n by 2 a plus l because it is arithmetic progressions in summation. Apply to s. 1001. 0, 0, 1. Here 1001 0, 0, 1 by 2. A is what? 1. And L last term. 2001. 0, 0, now students, here easily we create our answers. So 1001 and it is 2002. 0, 0, now cutting that, it get 1001. 0, 0, 1. So 1001 0, 0, 1 into 1001 0, 0, 1. and here students utilize your calculator and you get the answer very easily so students you getting here 1 double 0 2 double 0 1 that's your first 1001 number summation and you get the students easily answer now students I continue question number 2 find the sum of the all natural numbers lies between, yes students, here given between words, 100 and 1000. Between given, it means we not counted 100, we not counted 1000, between numbers counted and which are multiples of 5. It means 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, but more than 100. So first number is obviously 105, second 110 and last 995. So students here our numbers which are multiples of 5 and between 100 and 1000. So that's number are 105 first. 110, second 115, 
till last dash 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 995 yes we not counted 1000 and not counted 100 because here word given between if you from given then 100 include 1000 include so I define first a is 105 difference d yes second term minus first term it is fine and n is unknown and after that I go to tn last term 995 a plus n minus 1d putting down a and d and define n what is your a 105 d I have yes it is also 5 995 so we get here n minus 1 into 5 but this side 995 minus 105 so you're getting here easily yes that is your 0 9 and here 8 890 yes that's our product divided by 5 now so n minus 1 is equal to 890 by 5 very easy it is 89 into 2 10 yes 5 2 is 10 so your total getting 9 to the 18 1 carry 8 to the 16 plus 117 178 and become 1 plus 178 which is 179 it means total number we achieve in the 105 995 it is a 179 yes one more time i check 9 to the 18 1 carry and 8 to the 16 and 17 yes 178 plus 1 now I want to summation. So, what's the SN? N by 2. A plus L. But I have how much N? 179. Here write down 179. By 2. A become 105. Plus L become 995. Now students very easily you can get in here 995 plus 105 just i added 10 1 9 and 1 10 1 9 10 and 11 yes so you getting your s 179 179 into 1100 by 2 which is 550 and students here you can utilize your calculator and easily get answer so students you getting here 98450 and that's your total summation for odd numbers between 100 to 1000. Now continue students third one. If an AP the first term is 2 and sum of the first 5 terms is 1 fourth the next 5 terms then prove that 20 term is minus 112. Yes, students, before started, this numerical it is IMP. Yes, exam oriented. This is an IMP sum. First term given. Yes, first term is indicate small a, which is 2. And sum of the first 5 terms is 1 fourth the next 5 terms. It means there are 10 terms. Yes, I write down here. Terms are A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9 and A10. Yes. Now read again. Sum of the first 5 terms. It means I telling about that. This sum of the 5 terms. S5. Is sum of the last five terms is one fourth part it means this is the last five terms but i take total summation minus this then they indicate that one it is s10 minus s5 and that indicate what this summation is a a6 to a10 total summation means s10 minus this portion you can get last five term summations. So, here given, read again, sum of the first five term is one fourth 
means 1 by 4 at the last 5 terms last 5 term I taking again repeat here total 10 minus first 5 terms now very easy this 4 take upside 4 into s5 s10 minus s5 now this s5 again you check the left to right 4 times s5 1 times s5 they get 5 times s5 and here s10 now you know sn formula yes summation of arithmetic progressions s5 it is 5 by 2 2a plus n minus 1d it means students our 5 minus 1d same as here s10 10 by 2 2a plus n minus 1d and simplify for the solutions so here students 5 and 5 multiply by 2 here twice a plus 4d same here this cancel 5 twice a plus 9d now a value already you know how much 2 so i just apply my values in the way of here 25 by 2 same a is what 2 plus 4d here same 2 plus 9d correct so simplify that yes here 25 by 2 here 4 plus 4d this side 4 plus 9d now this 5 5s are gone 25 and multiply it. so 5 4s are 20 plus 20d and this two carry forward right side 2 times 4 plus 9d so students you getting 20 20d here 8 plus yes 9 to the 18 d it means you now cover d value so 20 d minus 18 d 8 minus 20 which have 2 d minus 2 d become minus 1 it means a ready d ready but i want to proofing our 20 term is become minus 112 so after that i start here yes that data I create now tn a plus n minus 1d putting down your n 20 term it means t 20 a become how much 2 here 20 minus 1 and d is a minus 1 yes students here total you getting your n 20 d is minus 1 and a is only and only students here how much 20 so you can calculate very easily your tn terms students here by mistakes i written here 8 minus 20 it is 2 actually it is a minus 12 so you getting here minus 6 yes and now cover to d here minus 6 so total 2 here 19 into minus 6 and that is your 114 and 2 minus 114 obviously it is 112 so t20 students minus 112 and here your final answer is covered students by mistakes here written 8 minus 22 actual it is how much minus 12 so that's why d is correction now your solution is students truly correct next continue students question 4 how many terms of the ap minus 6 minus 11 by 2 minus 5 till this 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 are needed to give the sum is minus 25 it will summation given and also a and d are given so this my a value is a minus 6 d second term minus first term so minus 11 by 2 plus 6 it is 6 to the 12 it means half yes 12 minus 11 now tn I know minus 25 and n is target because how many terms n is unknown apply tn rule a plus n minus 1d minus 25 a I have minus 6 n unknown but d is a half and minus 25 as it is so you taking first minus 6 convert right sides and here students tn 
given no it is a sum given yes by mistakes i written here tn you write down sn and sn formula write down na my mistake students sorry n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d yes summation given not the terms given that is a summation so n unknown a minus 6 and d is a yes half and minus 25 as usual so you can calculate the further n by 2 same 6 to the 12 and that also same is and taking you only lcm 2 so n by 2 here 12 to the 24 plus n minus 1 by 2 and minus 25 as it is now you simplify till up to n getting your answer so 2 to the 4 n by 4 and here n minus 25 is equal to minus 25 now you can create very easy n square minus 25 n yes n is equal to minus 25 for the it become 100 Now I want to hundred splitting, getting twenty five. Yes, it is only two factors. One of the twenty five is how much twenty five is? Yes, become twenty five also and hundred also. So n become minus twenty and secondly n minus five. So either first row, either second row. So n minus twenty is equal to zero. My answer n is twenty. Otherwise, secondly true, n minus five is equal to zero, means n is equal to five. It means there are twenty terms. If you summations, you getting minus twenty five. Either you getting n equal to five, then you also create n equal to five. A summation is minus twenty five. It means there are two answers, twenty either five. Yes, now students, time continue to fifth one. IMP question again. In AP, P term is one by Q, and Q term is one by P. Then prove that. Yes, prove that some of the first PQ terms. Yes, first PQ terms is that half PQ plus one, where P and Q not same. So this arithmetic progression generally you know. Yes, in AP. You know the formula terms of n a plus n minus 1d. So can I write down here terms of p a plus p minus 1d? Same is terms of q a plus q minus 1d. And that's your first and second. Now anyhow we can derive value of a. And value of d, and then after we go to summation. So students, here just I apply the values of terms of p already known you one by q, and terms of q is also given one by p. Now you both create here elimination method. A and a gone. Only we have p minus one minus q plus one d. Here one by q minus one by p. Yes, easily you find out here one 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 p minus q into d here p minus q upon p q. So now p minus q p minus q cutting because p never equal to q. So p minus q never zero. It means that I cancel only d one by p q. That's your first data done. But I want to also. Have So apply either first equation, either second. So from two, either from one, I apply from one a plus p minus one d one by q. As you see, students, you also utilize second equation. Now a as it is, p minus one, but d is what one by p q, and one by q again as it is. So what's your a? 1 by q minus p minus 1 by p q. So your data is a p q LCM, and definitely here q. So remaining a p minus p plus 1 cancel. So a become 1 by p q. 
that's your a ready finally a done d done and i want to summation of first pq terms so i now respectively start summation of n formula n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d but i want to summation of pq terms yes very easy solution students n is putting pq by 2 a yes a is that 1 by pq and n minus 1 so n is a pq d is also students 1 by pq and you easily create your solutions yes so pq by 2 same here 2 plus pq minus 1 by pq finally pq pq gone remaining your answer ready students here it is half one of the pq plus 1 and that's you check you getting the half pq plus 1 our target yes students it is a im before three marks question now continue students question number 6 is very easy numerical if the sum of the certain number of terms of an ap is given 25 22 19 dash 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 is 116 find the last term it means first i define last term number after that going to last term number yes so here first of all you check a become 25 difference 22 minus 25 which is minus 3 and here given that sum of the certain yes n is unknown but sn given 116 apply the sn formula n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d 116 same so n by 2 same is a become 25 n yes unknown that d become minus 3 and 116 also same is so n by 2 i just write down as it is n another here 50 minus 3n plus 3 116 again same so n by 2 as it is 53 minus 3n is equal to 116 now students i think here a one big product available so 53n minus 3n square is equal to 116 into 2 so total you cover 53n minus 3n square 6 to the 12 1 carry 2 ones are 2 plus 1 3 and 2 ones are 2 2 32 so i just arrange 3n square minus 53n plus 232 now anyhow here you make the splitting and 1 to 53 so can we write down here 3 into 232 yes 230 is itself 2 into 116 again you can dissolve 116 yes divided by 2 so 25 is 10 25 is 10 1 carry 16 2 eights are 16 again you can dissolve maximum 29 twos are now stop check that how much is this 3 to the 6 6 4 4 24 and 29 definitely they cover two product but i want to 53 29 and 24 if you added i want to minus so both minus taking it is minus 53 9 and 4 13 1 yes it means my splitting is done minus 24 minus 29 so i further calculate 3n square minus 24n minus 29n plus 232 and easily you can create your one of the factorization students yes here two two common pairing 3n common n minus yes 8 continue here 29 common n minus 8 so one of the n minus 8 and 3n minus 29 one answer is 8 check it is natural number and always natural number is a correct for any ap terms huh? yes and another n become 29 by 3 which is not a natural number 
so you're not taking your answer for n it means your n cover 8 it means your 8 terms summation is 116 but i want to last term it means 8 term therefore last term tn a plus n minus 1d i go to here 8th term now a ready d known n also known yes what is your a a is a 25 n 8 minus 1 and d is also students minus 3 so here students you are exactly answer coming 25 7 3 is a 21 so 25 minus 21 it become 4 it means that's your last term to in this numerical done students now students one more IMP questions coming question number 10 if the sum of the first P terms is equal to sum of the first Q terms then find the sum of the first P plus Q terms yes it's very easy students I just start summation of first P of any P is equal to summation of the first Q terms it means here given summation of P is equal to summation of Q now summation formula apply it is p by 2 2a plus p minus 1d same q by 2 2a plus q minus 1d so it is very easily you to to cutting and this p i multiply inside q also multiply inside so what you get 2ap p square minus p d same here twice a q plus q square minus q d very easy you just make arrangement with like terms 2 a p 2 a q and d and d terms i make the same with common taking so first of all i do 2 a p minus 2 a q this are and another p square minus p minus q square plus q d and is equal to 0 actually students i take the same numbers with the common and after that factorizations yes so here to a common p minus q here p square minus q square minus p plus q and d as it is actually these are you have to splitting and here as it is p minus q so does here i take two factor p plus q p minus q and here minus one common taking remaining are p minus q now you check p minus q p minus q common yes so p minus q you common taking but another are as it is which are another here twice a next continue plus p plus q here minus 1 d is equal to 0 actually in this question not printed but you can write down in the condition p not equal to q okay then it is true but you can show p not equal to q p minus q never 0 it means this case never 0 so that case is 0 2a plus p plus q minus 1 into d 0 and here utilize your statement number 1 now I want to summation of first so now as of p plus q I mean summation of n terms it is n by 2 next 2a plus p plus q minus 1d and that becomes 0 so p plus q by 2 as it is into 0 so you're getting here 0 summation of p plus q and here declare you have to from 1 because this from 1 i attach their value here 0 students actually i go to your 10th number because our further questions question number 6 after 7 8 and 9 according to syllabus it is cancel part 
that's why i'm not taking this numerical okay now 10 after 11 and 12 cancel so now i taking to our question is a 13th number yes students now students continue our 13th question yes according to your syllabus students 11 and 12 cancel there so that's why i explain okay so i going 13 13 also students imp numerical if sum of the n terms is given 3n square plus 5n and nth term is given 164 find out value of m so before started you tick mark this also in the most imp numerical students in ap sn given 3n square plus 5n sn summation and i want to terms so here one new formula coming yes it is one new formula any terms an always sn minus s of n minus 1 this property you utilize for any not in ap or any yes summation to you getting to terms so here i want to an sn minus n minus 1 What is S n? 3 n square plus 5 n. But S of n minus 1, you can apply in place of n, n minus 1. Again, repeat. In place of n means whenever you n given, you just write down n minus 1. You just write down n minus 1 and then simplify. Yes. So that term is ready. 3 n square 5 n. Here 3 n square minus 2n plus 1 and 5n minus 5. So internal calculations now ready. 3n square, 3 to the 6n plus 3 on the 3 and 5n minus 5. So indirectly, how much your value ready? 3n square plus 5n. Here 3n square, 6n and 5n minus n and 3 minus 5 minus 2. Now you expand it. So a n three n square plus five n another minus three n square plus n plus two that finished and that is your a n terms ready six n plus two it means students that is a summation now I get the yes it is terms and I end the term given one sixty four from given. Nth term is 164. It means students a of m 164. Apply here 6m plus 2 164. Easily 6m become 164 minus 2. It means 162. Now divided by 6. So m become 162 divided by 6. It's very easy. And here, students, our question is coming that six to the twelve. How much? Yes, four remaining. Forty-two. Six sevens are forty-two. Means your data is twenty-seven. Uh, and m value, it means twenty-seventh term is your mth value for one sixty-four. Yes, students. Here, our this exercise related thirteen question. Students done. And I stop this part. Further explanations. for this ap related i explain in the next part bye bye students